Hey guys, how you all doing? It's Fusion Blitz here, and today I am doing another gameplay commentary. So today what I'm going to talk about is criticism, and how it's actually a good thing and not bad. A lot of people have this um belief that criticism is bad, and they're just people hating on you, but really, they're not. There's a fine line between criticism and hate. Criticism is there so you can improve on what you're doing. Okay, so if you make a cake or any food product and uh, some critic comes along and says you did this great and you could do this a little bit better, he's not hating on your cake, he's just saying that if you do this a bit differently it would become a whole lot better. So he's just trying to help you and I don't see how that's a bad thing. If people's trying to help you, you should probably listen to them. Hate on the other hand is just people mindlessly raging about something and they, they don't make any sense whatsoever. They probably have horrible grammar and they probably are operating on half a brain or even less. Like some of these people are absolute idiots but they're absolutely goddamn hilarious so I don't mind when people hate on my videos because I just love it when it happens because they're so stupid. But anyway that's a taters. That's a topic for another video. Today I'm talking about criticism and the reason I'm making this video is because I uploaded well, like well, I got a video uploaded to TSG, and it received its fair share of criticism, but it was also a pretty successful, yeah, I got a, plenty of subscribers from that, like 100 subscribers, which may not be a lot for some people, but for me, it is a hell of a lot more than I could have ever expected to get from that, and I'm really grateful because of it, and it's awesome, but on with the criticism. I'm going to just uh, clarify some stuff and um, pretty much I'll be outlining some changes that I'll be making to my commentaries as well because I realized that after I received that criticism that people don't like the way that I sometimes do things and then when I actually think about it myself I realized that yeah I should probably change that because it doesn't sound good so now on with the criticism so in that video, a lot of people were saying that I sound like a robot and that I am reading a script and that I am a BBC news reporter. Okay, that is simply not true. I am not a robot. It's just the way that I talk. Okay, I am not a very energetic person. I find it difficult to express myself like that, but it's just not how I talk. Okay, a lot of people have told me in the past that I talk like a robot. So I'm going to try and change that a little bit. I'm going to use use like you know different tones try and put more energy into it put some enthusiasm in the videos just for the fun of it but I'm not gonna go over the top like some people do cuz that's just not how I do things and if you don't like that I'm sorry but I can't go over the top T Martin style kind of videos because you know He's like that kind of video. He probably snorts crack before his videos, so that's why he sounds like that. I am not going to snort crack before my videos. Sorry, I am just not doing that. Seriously, no, just no. Anyway, so thank you guys for that criticism. It's really helpful, and it opened my um, eyes and ears, I guess, so I can make my changes, and hopefully they will make my commentaries that much more entertaining. Now, on with some other criticism. This doesn't apply mainly to my commentary, but the quality of the audio and the video. Now with the audio quality, I really can't fix that right now. It will fix in the future when I get myself a proper microphone, because right now I'm using the integrated mic of my headset. Oops. Sorry, just burped there. But I will be getting a microphone, which is probably going to be a Blue Snowball Yeti, which is a pretty good mic that, that well, you know, I've heard from a lot of people is a good mic. So I'll be probably getting that when I get that hundred bucks, cause I kind of dropped all my money on my PC. Not that I regret it. I love my PC. It's just that I don't have the money for the awesome mic right now. So you might have to wait for that. Sorry. But anyway, but with the video quality, this might not change for a long time because right now the video quality is dictated by my upload speed, which is like half a megabit per second. That's like dial-up speeds. Like I shouldn't be getting these speeds for upload, but I do, and it sucks. But when I do change ISPs and I get a better plan, expect to see higher quality video. And hopefully that'll make the video look uh, amazing and give you that eye candy that you all want. 
and hopefully you will like that. I'm saying hopefully a lot, that's because I am very, very hopeful. Hopefully it's not very annoying, and hopefully that you don't think that I'm an absolute retard. Hopefully, and I should probably say, probably stop saying hopefully now, and actually get on with what I want to talk about. And that was it for the criticism mainly. Um, it was very helpful because, well, mainly the um, criticism of my, uh, I can't, I'm speaking too fast, I'm sorry. But mainly the criticism about my um, commentary, that was the, uh, the main issue, and I'll try and fix that up. So you guys can enjoy my commentary without wanting to, um, I don't know, shoot your ears out or something. If you, if you could even do that. I don't think you can, but prob some guy probably now is going to make a gun that can actually do that now. Or maybe it already exists, I don't know. But the, but the audio and visual stuff I already knew about, so that wasn't really as helpful. But at least you're pointing it out. I, I, I can't blame you for pointing it out, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're pointing it out, but... I didn't need that, but I can't really prevent you from saying it, so I'm not gonna blame you for anything. I'm okay with it. Just, just I, I'm, I am aware, okay? And I am not a robot. I am not a robot, okay? I am not reading from a script. I am not a robot. I am just that kind of person, that boring kind of person, as you know. But that is it for the commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed, and um. Yeah, before I go, I just have one more thing to add. It's just that keep an eye out for a video in the next one or two days. And that is going to be about what got me into YouTube and uh, why I am still doing it. What motivates me and stuff like that. It's not going to be like those other videos which say like, Oh, I did it to like, you know, voice my opinion. I never expected to get this big sort of stuff. No, because I do have a lot more personal and... um. I don't know, uh, somewhat different ambitions and reasons for starting YouTube that some of you guys might not even have considered. Okay, so keep an eye out for that, and that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.